Welcome to Support Videos for Control-M Workload Automation Video Series. Today we will be testing an SSH key generated with Control-M Managed File Transfer or Advanced File Transfer 8.2 or higher. This procedure will come in handy when you want to test or troubleshoot a connection on a Linux or Unix system that has OpenSSH installed. In our demo today, we're going to navigate to the location of the file transfer keys and verify connectivity using the built-in SFTP from OpenSSH available in most Linux and Unix systems. Now to our demo. Okay, so our first step is to navigate to the keys directory. And this is off of the agent home slash cm slash aft slash data slash keys. And in here we see a copy of our private key, the public file that we would hand out for the people to put in their uh, known host or equivalent file. So what we'll do here is we'll just use SFTP. And we're going to use the minus O option and we're going to specify an identity file. And we're going to use the EM918 account on this host. Now, because we don't use the native SFTP or SSH configuration, it's going to ask us if we want to save this fingerprint. So we'll say yes. And it's going to ask us to enter the passphrase, which is the same one that you use when you define the key in the CCM. And you can now see we're in the directory. Now, if you do run into problems, you can also use the robust flag and this will assist you in troubleshooting it. And as you can see, when we use the verbose flag, it gives us a little bit more output, um, such as the host, um, what the OpenSSH version is we're connecting to, and some additional cipher and negotiation information. And this may come in handy if you're having a problem and you want to troubleshoot uh, something you want to share with your admins, because they can probably help you pinpoint the problem quicker. That concludes today's demo. This concludes our Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.